What's going on game developers? Think to us right here with a new video. Yeah, a new video. Yeah, okay, let's get the chicks. Um, ever wondered where this kind of good art comes from? Good assets like this and uh, assets that look like this. All these awesome assets that are designed with awesome kind of isometric and uh, ISO type of things. And uh, even all trying to search all the nets, trying to YouTube search and trying to find that. But enough of searching guys, the answer is here on Think Twice channel. Okay, so the software that does this is about to be revealed on my channel right now. So let's roll the intro and see what this does. <laughs> Okay guys, the software is called Magic Voxel. So this is the guy that's in charge of making all those kind of awesome voxel type of shapes and art. Okay, so if you are a big fan of making assets like that or you've ever wanted to learn how to create assets like that, I'll be taking you also in that tutorials in learning on how to create things like that on the same channel right now. So today's video is an introduction just to show you about what this software does and some examples of things that we've worked with using uh, Magic Voxel. Okay, so Magic Voxel is really fun. And uh, the first time you open this app is all this you see. No welcome screen or anything. Yeah, it's all just says Magic Voxel and it tells you the name at that thing there. I'm sure. Uh, I, 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 Tracy, FHC, FHC. I can't pronounce that. FHC, FHC. I can't pronounce that word. I won't lie to you, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay. It's according to how you want to pronounce that name. Yeah. Okay. The first thing you see is a isometric cube. This cube you're seeing right now. This cube here, just like any other 3D application you open up, there are always cubes. So, that in this thing, yeah, ISOs are 3D, but the thing is that you should understand about ISOs. ISOs are blocks, okay? They are voxel blocks, just like the ones in Minecraft. By Minecraft, they're a bit, um, like, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you know what I mean, Minecraft. Like, you can see one on the screen. That's, that's, that's a strange block, anyway. But you can also try and create one in here. Um... So like this thing here, this little box you see in here in the corner allows me to change the, the size and the side where I want to play around. If you've played around with view box right now, there are these highlighting things you see in view box and uh, you'll be able to try and uh, look like which edge you don't want to see um, like that. This thing also applies with the same when it comes to magic voxel. Okay. Right now, you're saying uh, the software, but the question you're asking yourself, wow, does, oh, how does this thing work? Okay, how the software works is that we've got like the plates here with different colors. These plates are in charge of the cube. Like for example, this cube here, when I go click on uh, new, my, my cube will change to a different color. But uh, I prefer working with the default color and that's the... Um, type of bluish uh, color there it's it's more uh, fun to work with and visible to work with so work with colors are more visible okay on this other angle here you see the render thing so come to the render and this is the model right now we are seeing the render and these are brushes by brushes yes brushes we've got brushes so we have this brush here this brush here allows us to give us this kind of um, thing here so right now we are on paint so let's change that to erase so that we can our brush can be able to work so that that brush does that so it's able to do do all the stuff that that's that kind of thing there then we also have the attach attach mostly like brings everything back the way it was like it, attach, it attaches things like that so you attach things like that then we have the f brush there so you can have your you can give them specific names you want to give them so it does that. So you see, it reduces that thing like that, takes the, everything away, and you can just put everything back the way it was. Or you can have uh, something called attached to bring things back to the way it was like bring it back, just 
just to resume everything the way everything was in the beginning. Then we have um, the B brush. So erase, remember that, for it to work. So B brush just works like that. So most of the times you can try and create something very, very fast. You know, I'm very creative when it comes to using this software. So I can create a building right now. So yeah. So anyway, we're not here to create a building, but we're just here to see how the software works. So anyway, um, we can also use again the attach thing to lift this thing back. Like if you want to make something like a window somewhere there, or maybe I'm more happy with this part here. I can close that part there like a ladder, like you just put up something like that. You can try and create anything your own way. So like you can see, this looks nice already. Then we have now the paint. Paint, I can choose a different color for this. Uh, let us try and choose uh, maybe, maybe this color here. So let's try and add that from there. So I'll add that color there. Then um, I can get this kind of brownish thing here to add as a plank, something like that there. So then that there. So just like that, then uh, you see you get to do all sorts of good kind of stuff with this software. Then we have the C brush there, erase there. It has this kind of deep thing that it does like that I love. It's like it just goes too nice and uh, artistic. This 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 software is really nice to use. And uh, we have now the L brush. What it does is just doing that. Like you see, okay. You might ask yourself what those things are for, but anyway, it's fine. So then uh, we have now what we call the mirror. So we can uh, mirror two, two corners in one. For example, let's see, I'm trying to cut two edges in here. Oh, let's talk about this edge, that edge there. So I'm going to have this X mirror here and X that thing there. I'm going to go back to B brush there. Then I'm going to cut something like that. So it's going to cut for me something like that. So you can see, you can see that there. So the... Uh, the other thing it can do is that let's say I'm trying to cut this thing here. It'll be able to cut that. Okay, wait, just wait a minute. Just give me a sec. Uh, that's Y and uh, give me a Y axis. That'll be somewhere like that. So that you want to cut something like that. Um, or do anything. Oh, maybe you want something like Y to Y like that. But Y to Y can't work. Let's try Y to, to Z like something like that. Okay, wait, wait for that. I'm just... Just cancel that so this axis wasn't working quite okay. That's okay, just made a mistake. I think this is supposed to be I think this is supposed to be X. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll discover that throughout the tutorials when cam when it comes to like using this software. Okay, so now we have that. I've talked about that thing there, the the object there, and now let's look at the render path. The render path here, you can have this kind of thing where it has to start to render this object in real time mode. So like, let me try and face this side. You can try and start seeing like shadows to see how this thing is working. We can also make this thing a glass. If we want, if we come here, if we increase the glass thing, like, let's see, I increase this thing here. Come there. The octaness should be somewhere high there so that this thing can render like a glass. Then the refract. The refract there, okay, that that looks better. So let me just go down a bit so that you guys can be able to see that. Then um, you guys will be able to see that at uh, real time mode. Okay, so you can see the glass. So I don't know if my 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 video is visible for you. You can see this is a glass. This has rendered this to a glass. This is glass now. It has rendered this to glass. So that's awesome. I'm really happy with that. And you can see that that. All that object there you can take a screenshot of that thing you've done there or you can open up a new thing there or you can export it out of here by either obj um vox iso uh with um comes to view box we're working with iso and 2d okay for view box uh 3d we're working with obj okay so you can also try and work with any other format like this so that's that's mostly about this thing. So you can see this render is really awesome and I love the way the render has come out. It's on point, shadows are on point and everything. So now, uh, if you come to other side like the model, things we've worked with, um, with this software, you can see, um, okay, so it's asking me to see that thing there. So I'm just going to say, um, I think, should I say this thing? Uh, yes or no? I'm just going to say no. Okay, we have a castle there. So you can see this castle, you can try and create all this awesome thing. We have this little nice little 
princess or knight. Uh, we have the old man there. We have the rain thing there. We have all that there. Even 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 uh, the icon of the software itself. We we have um certain it's in voxel, so you can see this kind of Minecraft kind of thing there. The so if you've seen this name here, this name here is the same name that you've seen there. Um, we have that there, nice little castle there for your game. We have this little also good looking uh, uh, game thing. You can try and add that to your game. We can even go complicated as we want. If maybe you're trying to go uh, more crazy when it comes to the software, you can... Um, you can you can go crazy. You just 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 try and uh, do whatever you will feel like doing. Then this is this looks very simple, but this is complicated. This shelf you're seeing here is very complicated. A teapot. Uh, this was done with uh, the C brush combination with the uh, B brush and uh, the paint brush. So that uh, so you can see that. Then the untitled thing <laughs> we tried to create in the first thing I was trying to do before starting this video. Like that's trying to, like so like. You see, yeah, that's the same thing we're trying to do there. Then this is just a, this is a three, um, three times three times three box, so you can add a multiplier of five, and uh, we have that there, and so on and so forth. You can you can you can we can have different types of things. We can say them as anything we want to, any any anyhow, and we have patterns here. It it can give us the patterns of uh, maybe we're trying to create a box or anything like. Um, when I open up a new file, like let's see this box here, I want the patterns for maybe um, nature. So it's it can um let me just turn off this, just turn off the mirrors. So you you'll be able like to create this kind of um, voxel kind of thing. So like let's say I break this thing down, break that down, break that down. So like in the next video, we'll look at how to create characters and everything in this video. But that's it. I want to talk about this. Uh, video about magic voxel. So this is magic voxel, guys. You've seen it, and you are ready to use it. You know about it. And if you are interested in creating the assets you just seen uh, in the beginning of the video, this is a software that does that. And if you want to become a good um, game or artist when it comes to object and assets, watch my videos and don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you. Thank <laughs> you.